questions for reflection. Throughout most of the Catholic Church, we celebrate the Ascension of the Lord this Thursday. In some places, the feast is transferred to Sunday. In the Acts of the Apostles verses we heard in our first reading, St. Luke gives an eyewitness account. However, the feast has lost its meaning in the experience of too many Catholic Christians. Does the Ascension affect our lives in the here and now? Is it a commemoration of an event which occurred 2,000 years ago? Or could it help unlock the meaning of our lives and reveal the plan of God for the entire created order? The great Western Bishop Augustine proclaimed these words on this feast, and I quote, Today our Lord Jesus Christ ascended into heaven. Let our hearts ascend with him. Listen to the words of the apostle. If you've risen with Christ, set your hearts on the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Seek the things that are above, not the things that are on earth. For just as he remained with us even after his ascension, so too we are already in heaven with him, even though what is promised us has not yet been fulfilled in our bodies." End quote. When we went down into the font of baptism, we were incorporated into Jesus Christ, made members of his mystical body, the church. Therefore, as Augustine also wrote, and I quote, where the head is, there is the body. Where I am, there is my church. We two are one. The church is in me and I in her, and we two are your beloved and your lover." End quote. In our second reading, taken from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, we hear the Apostle's prayer for the early Christians living in Ephesus. He prays that the, quote, eyes of their mind may be enlightened. In other words, that they would be given the gift of living faith to see all of life differently now because Jesus is at the right hand of God the Father, interceding for them. Paul reminds them at the end of this beautiful prayer, and I quote, he has put all things under his feet, Jesus' feet, and made him as he is above all things, the head of the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who is filled all in all. The ascension of Jesus is not an intermission. He's still with us and we are with him. The head and the body are one, May the Lord open the eyes of our mind as well, so that we can begin to see the implications of all of this and live our lives by faith. What the early church believed and the early Christian fathers taught was that in a spiritual sense, we have also ascended with the Lord. We are now joined with him and he lives his life through us. He is the head and we are members of his mystical body. We cannot be separated. St. Augustine, reflecting the clear teaching of the early church fathers, reminds us that the head and the body are, quote, the one Christ, end quote. So this feast of the ascension of the Lord is our feast as well. We now live in Christ by living in his body, the church of which we are members. We are invited to live in the heart of the church for the sake of the world. Pope St. Leo the Great reflected on the joy the disciples experienced on that glorious day in these words, and I quote the Pope, that blessed company had a great and inexpressible cause for joy when it saw man's nature rising above the dignity of the whole heavenly creation, above the ranks of angels, above the exalted status of archangels. Now, would there be any limit to its upward course until humanity was admitted to a seat at the right hand of the Eternal Father, to be enthroned at last in the glory of Him to whose nature it was wedded in the person of the Son?" End quote. Both of these great Christian saints and bishops point us to the deeper meaning of this feast. The ascension does not mark the end of Jesus' relationship with his church, but the beginning of a new way of his relating to the world in and through his church. This way includes every one of us who bear his name and are baptized into him. We have also ascended with the Lord. When viewed with the eyes of living faith, 
The Ascension is capable of transforming the way we view ourselves and the way we live our daily lives in Jesus, with Jesus, and for Jesus.